Weekly Rap. Yeah, Weekly Rap. Oh, yeah. Hey, what do you mean? Here comes the. Here comes the. Here comes the. Yeah, I don't really want it like Hey folks, welcome to another NQ Petro Brothers Weekly Wrap, proudly brought to you by ASN Cans for all your supplement needs. On the weekend, we were here for our Cairns District Rugby League round of fixtures against traditional rival Ivanhoe's. Uh, three matches played at the weekend for three wins, so a positive day for the club, but it was almost not to be. Uh, getting the day underway were the Kennedy's Better Home Living Colts, uh, trailing late in the match 28 14 before. Uh, Bit of a miraculous come from behind victory. Uh, Hamaso Tabawai grabbing a treble. Uh, goal kicking the only difference in a five tries a piece match uh, where we were fortunate enough to come away with a, a 30 points to 28 last gasp victory. So congratulations uh, to the boys on uh, playing through to the final whistle and getting that victory. And uh, condolences to Ivanhoe's who came so far and was so close. Uh, for no chocolates, uh, but it's positive signs for them heading in towards the finals. Uh, Sterling Addo grabbing himself uh, four goals and Hamaso also kicking a goal in uh, that performance. Uh, moving on to our Tropic Wings reserve grade clash. Uh, pretty dominant display against the 13-man Ivanhoe's. Uh, we come away with a 46 points to 12 win and a 10-try romp. Uh, the scoreline could have been a hell of a lot higher had we uh, our goal kicking been better than at 30%. Only, only sliding three goals from 10 attempts. Uh, as Kane Weehy grabbed himself a double and as did Isaiah Wigness. Uh, and then six other try scorers crossing the stripe. In a, as we just mentioned, a pretty dominant display. Uh, positive signs for our reserve grade side. Uh, a couple of wins on the trot now. So they'll be comfortable going into, sorry, confident heading into this weekend's clash. In the A-grade match, uh, 40 points to 22. Again, another late game fade out um, by the side, leading 40 points to six with not long to go before a couple of late tries uh, to the Knights. Uh, Nathan Wales certainly banging on the door for a recall to the Northern Pride, but as long as he's dropping back to us, we're certainly uh, very, very happy with his performances, uh, grabbing himself another double at the weekend and, and helping to set up a couple. Uh, and pretty ably supported there by Paddy Lewis, who's got a beautiful individual try, and George House uh, had his best game in a number of weeks as well through the middle of the paddock uh, in what was a, a pleasing victory. But as mentioned, it's those late match fade outs that we want to get on top of before we get right into the pointy end of the season uh, and before it could cost us. Uh, moving into this weekend, uh, we take on Mariba here again at St. Uh, Stem Williams Park in what's become uh, a much look forward to occasion on the ladder. Uh, the circumstances, not so, but uh, the two clubs playing for the Tony Schaaf Memorial Shield. The SAS man having a, a pretty prestigious career, both clubs, uh, well liked uh, performer who travelled down the hill uh, to play with our club for a couple of seasons before his untimely passing. Uh, this match played in his uh, memory each year. Unfortunately for us, uh, we were we forewent the Shield to Mariba last year when they were too strong and coach Robbie Swain and the boys uh, chomping at the bit to get that Shield back to its rightful place on our wall in our dressing room. So best of luck this weekend to the boys that they're able to achieve that. Uh, three greats kicking off uh, Kennedy's Better Home Living Colts at midday. Tropic Wings reserve grade taking the field at 1.30 p.m. before the main clash. The uh, NQ Petro brothers taking on the Mariba Gladiators in that Tony Sassman Shafe Memorial Shield clash kicking off at 3 p.m. So fingers crossed this time next week we're coming to you with three wins under our belt and a shield under our arm. Until next week, gather fish.
can't cost your side a game to your fucking, you, you panic. But other than that, was you in a good side, get hit out. Out there, boys. Some of the, the backing up and the, the ball play that was out there was good to see. Defensively, market, most of that game was was really spot on. Uh, it's a shame that you know we, we get to this huge lead and then we start. I don't know what happens when we take the burners off, but then we also um, we, these little things start creeping into our game. It happened last week again. It just felt like happened tonight. Uh, I'm just ha I'm just happy that we've got still got another four games left until, until we lead in the semis. Let's just make sure we, we've got to get those things right. We can't, we can't afford to turn in, we can't afford to, I think, I think I put too much emphasis on making sure we took that lead and, and they hit, I'm hitting those jockeys and fucking we'll get beat on the outside. We've got to make sure we, 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 solve, we solve that and slide across. Good chat. Good chat. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.